What is up, everyone? You know what it is. Your boy Shindy on. We're back again playing another Unreal Tournament video. Definitely hit that thumbs up if you're a huge Unreal Tournament fan. If you have been watching a lot of my videos in the past, I definitely want you know what you're about to get into right now. You see on the left hand side of the screen, we're maxed out on players. You know, so we do have a lot of players in the room. So you know this is going to be a fry fest. 16 players in one small room that was the old Unreal Tournament 99 map, right? So with that being said, uh, we're going to get that. We're going to run right into the game, get this started. It's a 12-minute video. And, uh, yeah, man, everything is just, let's just, just go on, get underway. Double kill. So we starting off nice and smooth. We got a nice double kill. We got taken down. Game is still very early. Uh, anything can happen at this point. Now, this is an old design. You know, I have played this map in Unreal Tournament 99. It is an old Unreal Tournament 99 map. It is a remake. Um, and there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Just 16 kill. players, man. It's Killing spree. No one know or can predict what's going to happen, right? We just know it's going to be a frag fest. We don't know if we're going to be spawning on top of each other. But because you can spawn anywhere and just die, I, I myself just started thinking, let me position myself um, somewhere where I can play smart. I can challenge and pick off guys on a one-on-one, -on -one, right? Um, so I'm just trying to move around and get to know the map a little bit more, uh, know where the weapons are, things of that. So as you see me, I just launch out. I know that, I think I knew where the rockets were right there. But I knew the sniper was up here because I just died going up here the last time, so. And while I'm doing this, I'm still trying to, you know, continue to get my kill. Right, this is all what's going on while I'm trying to strategize around the map. Double kill. Killing spree. So on the top right hand side of the screen is the top three places uh, the top three players placements of uh of the rank of everyone. Now there's the redeemer. I knew there was something like that on this map, so that's why I went back to go look for it. Surprisingly, I was only able to get one kill with the Redeemer on a map like this. Right? One kill. Everyone is next to each other, I only got one kill. So I was like, wow, that's a huge failure. Now, I did, I was on a rampage, which is really good. I'm in a good position to play very smart. Funky Brown took me out. Rampage ended. And I, and I keep getting the same spawn where I would get that shock rifle. Nothing wrong with it. I accept it, I take it. I have no choice. Lazy Gal said, dude is camping up there. It's probably up in the top room. I see somebody sniping up there in the area, but hey, it's a very small map. If you want to be part of the Stug Crash, you got to play smart. But I end up taking them down. See how all these guys are probably on top of each other right here? No one wants to play the entire game like that. I mean, you can, but. Killing spree. I just felt like somebody would chase me. Probably wasn't, but. Looks like that shooting behind me. I go back, take a look, and they were. Back in the way. My 
I feel like I feel like I didn't do a whole lot at, at this point, but like I was pretty accurate. Where like every opponent I try to kill, I end up you know getting a frag. Killing spree. So we're doing pretty smooth. Are we doing pretty decent? That is. That was a huge failure right there. I mean, yes, he had the show bell, but I was like creeping up on him and he just turned around and owned me. Alright, so we know on the top right, I have 32 frags, right? But let's take a look at the actual scoreboard. Look at that. I have a crazy KD ratio going on right now. I have 32 kills, 7 deaths. Funky Brown's in second, also with a crazy KD ratio. I have 28 kills, 10 deaths. Really good. For a map like this, this is really good. Got Redeemer again. The whole thing. I get a good amount of kills. There we go. So three is better than one. Like what I had the first time. Killing spree. Don't multi kill. I just took the shield belt because I missed the timing of that. So I want to be a little bit more aggressive. Four minutes left. Score is pretty close. Just trying to get out there, attack. It seems like I'm getting a lot of players weak, but I'm not getting any finish. No finishers. All damage. Enemy damage. Still hitting, hitting my opponents, but no finishers. Finally. Double kill. Yeah. Multi kill. Want to be a little bit more aggressive. Dominate. See what happens. Launch confirmed. I played that one extremely smart on how I uh, was get away from uh, that redeemer there to survive that. Remain. 
Unstoppable. Now the good thing is when you have an unstoppable, you want to feel like you you feel confident enough to get a guy like right. So the the wrong thing I can do is jump down in the center and challenge everybody when I'm on an unstoppable um, near a guy like. So I just want to play very smart. Because uh, I do have a pretty large lead. Another multi kill with the Redeemer is definitely acceptable. because I had the um, shield belt right next to me and that's when I lost my god light because I think I needed one or two more kills to get a god light and uh, I lost it right there Double kill. Pretty wild what's going on, man. It's amazing. Thirty seconds left. So I'm still looking crazy, even though I died a lot right there at the end. I still have an amazing KD ratio, Like, take a look how many devs I have.